Hey everybody, Steve here with Steve's Tech Stuff. Today we're setting up Invoice Ninja along with Nginx Proxy Manager to easily get our application online. First, we're gonna clone the Invoice Ninja GitHub Docker files. Then we're gonna customize a few of them before we spin up the Invoice Ninja container. Afterwards, we spin up the Nginx container and set up the proxy. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get to it. First thing we need to do is get logged into our server. And we need to confirm everything is up to date. Now that everything is up to date, let's browse over to our directory we're gonna be storing our containers in. Mine is just Docker. Now we just need to make a directory for our invoice ninja Docker container. I'm just gonna call it ninja change to that directory and using the git clone command in the description below we can clone the docker files for invoice ninja from their github to another ls you can see the docker files folder there let's change to it to another ls and we need to modify two files in here it'll be the env environment file and the docker compose yaml file before we modify the environment file, we need to collect an app key. So use the docker run command in the description below to generate an app key for Invoice Ninja. This will also pull the images. Once we have our image and app key, let's go ahead and copy the key. It's the entire base 64 all the way to the equal symbol. Now we can modify the necessary files. So let's nano the EMD file. App URL can stay the same. We're just gonna take the colon and the port off of it. The app key is the key we just copied. App debug, we're gonna switch this to false. Otherwise you get a nag in the web GUI. And I did discover the hard way that if you leave all of these set to Ninja, these containers will work. If you adjust just the password, even if it matches the DB connection here and the SQL connection at the bottom, you will get a DB password permission issue where the containers can't talk to each other using the password set here. But if we adjust the database name and the username and the password, if you adjust all three, it seems to work. So we're gonna change the Ninja database, to just Ninja DB. Ninja username will just be Ninja user. And the password can be whatever you want. I'm gonna make my Ninja password. So this is for the initial user under the end user email. For your mail options here, discuss that with your mail provider for these settings and information. Go ahead and adjust the root password for your database. And then again, make sure everything matches. So this was Ninja user. Password was Ninja Password. And the database is Ninja DB. Go ahead and control X to exit this. Y to save it. Enter to overwrite the file name. And now we need to update the Docker Compose file. So nano docker dash compose. And we're gonna update the port. I don't wanna run it on 80. I'm gonna change it to 8888. And then under extra host, we need to adjust the IP address to the IP of your server. You have to do this for all three of the containers in the Docker Compose file. Once you've updated this, go ahead and control X to exit this file. Y to save it, enter to overwrite the file name. And before we bring up our container, using the commands in the description below, we can update the permissions. And now with our permissions updated, we can bring up the container. Docker compose up dash D. Once our invoice ninja containers have started, you may need to give them just a minute or two for the database to settle down before the other containers can talk to it. 
Otherwise, we can browse over to the server. On the port we specified. And once the database settles down, you'll be able to log in. This was the initial login we added to the Docker Compose file. Mine was just steve at stevestechstuff.net. Four ones as a password. And we're in. You would enter your name, company's name here. Fill out the rest of the information. And now that we have Invoice Ninja up and running, let's move over to our Nginx proxy manager to get our URL working. Copy the Nginx proxy manager from Docker Compose config from the description below. Back over to our terminal window. I'm gonna back out of the Docker files folder under Ninja. And now we can create a new Docker Compose file. Nano docker compose .yaml .yml and then paste in the Nginx proxy manager config. Control X, Y to save it. Enter to save the file name. And then we can do the same as docker compose up D. And this is gonna pull the Nginx proxy manager image. Now that our Nginx proxy manager is up and running, we're gonna switch over to duckdns.org to create a temp URL to use for this example. So over to duckdns.org in our browser, so we can get logged in. Once we're logged in, in the middle here, we're gonna create a new domain. We'll just call it Test Ninja. Test Invoice Ninja. All right, now that we have our domain, testinvoiceninja.duckdns.org. Let's switch over to our proxy manager. Switch that on our server's address on port 81 for the management. This initial login is just admin at example.com. Password is change me, all lowercase, all one word. On the initial login, we gotta update this and update the password. Once we've updated the password, we're gonna go over to hosts at the top, proxy host, and we're gonna add a proxy host for the domain. We're gonna use the domain we just created. It was testinvoiceninja.duckdns.org. And we need to forward this over to the IP address of our server. It was on port quad eights. We're gonna enable these options here. And then up at the top, we're gonna to go to the SSL tab. We're gonna request a new SSL certificate. Enable all of these options except for the DNS challenge. Agree to the terms and save it. And now we can see our proxy host is online. It's using our SSL certificate. And if you click on the domain here, it should take you over to your copy of Invoice Ninja. And you should be able to use the same credentials we used earlier. And there we are. We are logged into our Invoice Ninja through HTTPS. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.